everyone, it's Nisha. So today, I know I promised you this look ages ago, but um, you know what's been happening. I've been decorating. So this is a cool tone eye look with the Zoeva on top palette. I have done review of this palette, so if you haven't seen it, I will link it here. Um, I've, I've used... Um, eyelashes it's basically the same look that i wore i think in the review of this palette and you all really liked it so um here it is okay so i'm going to start with the color exquisite and i will take it on blank canvas cosmetics e42 brush And I'm going to find my crease. Now I'm going mostly sort of from here. I'm not going all the way down with this color because I want the in, inner part of my eyes to be open and white. And here when I get in get to the outer V, I sort of wing it out and up a bit. I'm not going down. Very gently. Hardly putting any pressure. And just keep building it up my eyebrows really need waxing hopefully you can see that so sorry that it's taking me so long to do this tutorial but as you know i have been decorating a lot <laughs> So we almost have a, like a cut crease. Now I will go with Sheer Voils, which is like a, a duochrome pink colour. I'll take a flat brush and now fill the space between that cut crease and all over my mobile lid and right here in a corner and pat rather than brush on and by doing that we are creating this big open eye that is not going to look hooded. Now with a pencil brush, oh my gosh, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's like, so blowy outside we have another storm coming we had like three storms in the last two weeks so it's not too lovely yeah i'm going here in a corner and a bit under with this color okay i'm going to go back to that crease brush and now really stick the point of it in my crease. Okay, before I do anything else, as you know, I'm going to do the lower lash line. And again, I will do it with the exquisite color. 
grab any small brush that you have it can be pencil brush um, whatever you find most comfortable and I'm not going again with this color all the way into my inner corner I will brighten it up even more now I am going to take the old master and I will darken this corner a bit with it and I think that for this I will take the Real Techniques a shading brush and now I'm going to fill in this space Like I said in my review, this um, these eyeshadows are not not that they are not pigmented, but the colors are a bit more muted, which I quite like because that means that you can build up the color. You don't end up with that big blob of colour that you can't do anything with it then and I will go with that old master on the outer corner here And let's blend it all together. And now I'm going to keep brightening up this portion. I might take the stitch by stitch, which is a matte, very bright, creamy white color, because look how bright that looks love this color this is I said before very similar to Max um, long type I might put a bit of it under my brow bone and then I will take hour by hour which is like a very muted top um, and this is simply to blend out that edge a bit Um, for the eyeshadow now let's go to the eyeliner I am going to use the Lorac Pro front of the line but any eyeliner you feel like using and I will be putting eyelashes on because I think that look was really uh, made by the eyelashes so I'm not doing anything specific but I'm trying to make this line very very thin here because I want this part of my eye to be very bright I don't want to cover it with a lot of liner plus we can go over it after we've put the lashes on I 
Um, now, down the bottom in my waterline and sort of in my bottle lashes, I will put the Maybelline, is that Maybelline? Yes, Master Kajal Core Liner. It's one of those fatty ones. I've actually been lately enjoying it. You think it's so fat, but actually it makes pretty good line as well. It's quite easy to use. Okay, I'm going to use Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. Only because I've run out of my Kiko. I need to go and get it. The problem is that I have to drive half an hour to Kiko store, so I'm not going to go especially for mascara when I have others that I can use. I will do the bottom lashes later, but I will put the false lashes on now. For my eyelashes, I'm going to use Coco Eyelashes in 202. I've trimmed them a bit because they were a bit too long. I like these eyelashes because these are my favourite type of eyelashes. Can you see they look almost like they have little um, spiky sections. I think because you have these gaps in between them you can see more of the eye sometimes if the lashes are very thick and a very solid i feel like especially with a hooded eye it weighs your eye down and actually closes it down and we want to see this light eyeshadow as well because that is what opens up our hooded eyes so we don't really want to cover it too much so i'm just going to put some glue on it And remember, with the when you have hooded eyes, the end of the eyelash, don't um, stick it right on your lash line here at the outer corner. I always put it a bit higher, and you can't see it because you can't see the gap between my own lashes and false eyelashes because I've got the black eyeliner there. But that way, you're lifting your up a bit because. You know with especially like I've got quite droopy eyes as well if I followed it right to the end then it would make my eyes look even more droopy I hope you I'm explaining myself well I do my bottom lashes while I'm waiting for that lash for the glue to dry Always bend your lash a bit like this, especially these ones are particularly, you see, very straight. So they are a bit more difficult to follow the line of your eye. But on the other hand, they are the band is so thin. They are so lovely to work with. I love these lashes. And always, after your lashes are glued on, bend them upward so they don't fall down. Let's do the bottom lash. Lashes, not just one lash. that's your eyes finished now let's do lips lips you can do all sorts of lips with it because we had this this top is a bit mauvey purpley but i feel that you could do like a nice pale pink lips you can do nude lips and you can do more of a vibrant pink lips um today i'm going to use Marc Jacobs Nudist Pencil Then I will use the Rimmel Kate Nude Lipstick in 45 mm, Love the smell of it <laughs> Mm, 
Mm. And Rimmel are my glass in in pear glossy cut. And that is a finished look. I really like this type of look. Um, I feel like it really makes the eyes and teeth pop. I feel like it makes the eyes pop and makes them look really open and almost doll-like and I quite like that. So um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching and I see you soon. Bye.